Okay, so today I'm going to be rating all the tedious towers on Tier Maker because why not? And yes, let's just get started. And make sure to like and subscribe. So, anyways, uh, the Golden Scout, the first one. The Golden Scout. Everybody treats it like a god. I'm putting B tier. The only, like, there's only one reason people like it, because it's good for early game. People think it's, like, really, really OP, but it's really only good for early game. Mid game and late game, you're gonna need, like, better towers. And, yeah, this Golden Scout is just okay. It's a mad tower, but it's pretty good on max level on early game. Okay, so that was the Golden Scout. Next one, Accelerator. S tier, obviously. Like, who doesn't want the accelerator like seriously it has great dps like on every level it's op and yeah just really really good in general that's why i'm putting it s tier i would put it a tier but i'm putting it s tier next one ace pilot a tier and people might get mad at me but like the ace pilot is definitely better than golden scout especially in hardcore because it's like, and actually in the Halloween event too, the Ace Pilot is like really helpful for both of those because he's good for witches and good for balloons too with his little bombs. So I think it's A tier. It's definitely above Golden Scout in my opinion. Just remember these are my opinions. Okay, so the next one, Archer, B tier. Actually, C tier because he got really like, in the hardcore update, he got really nerfed. Like, like an earlier version of the TDS, he was OP. Like, he could, like, two archers or even one archer could just, like, just kill zombies for, like, the first few waves. But he got, like, majorly nerfed in the hardcore update. And that's, I just, I would put it in A tier, but because of the nerf, C tier. So, yeah, archer. Commander. S tier, obviously, best tower in the game in my opinion. His ability is great, he has decent range, and he makes the tower shoot faster with his ability, which is really good, especially for like rangers and stuff. So yeah, no need to explain about commander, it's just S tier. Commando, D tier. It used to be like one of the best towers in the game, but now it's just the worst. Like, as it used to have like 50 DPS or something, now it has like 21, I think, on max level. Which is like, with his bombs, which is insane. So yeah, he got like really nerfed. I would put him in S tier, but he's just all the way down to a D tier, because he, he's so bad. Next one, Cowboy, A tier. Not a C S tier, but it's definitely an A tier, because people like think Cowboy's trash because of the update, but it's... He's actually really good for early game, but there's, of course, better choices like the Crook Boss, you know. But Cowboy is good, but the thing I don't like about him is they have to beat Fallen on Badlands. He used to be just Molten, now have to beat Fallen, and like two Fallen Kings come out, it's almost impossible. So yeah, um, A tier, he's really good, but it takes like a lot of work to get him. Next one, Golden Minigunner, S tier, obviously. He has great DPS, he's OP for early game and mid game and late game. So yeah, no need to explain. Golden Minigunner is S tier. Crook Boss. What? I'm gonna put him B tier. Like, I said that I think Crook Boss is a better choice, I think, at least. But, actually, Cowboy is a better choice, but... A Crook Boss is B tier, about the same level as a Golden Scout, because he's decent at early game at two, about like, yeah, two damage per shot at level zero, but eventually on max level, he sends in, he sends in Mafia and Crooks, which is really good, which are actually decent. So yeah, B tier, because, yeah, I think B tier, like B tier is average. So a Crook Boss goes in B tier. Next one, Golden Cowboy. I would say S tier. Now, people might disagree with me on this one, but he gives like a lot of cash, same with, like same with the cowboy, 
And, like, he has, I think, a damage buff, I believe. Yeah, damage buff. And his prices are a little bit higher. People treat him like trash, but he's actually really good. Just try and use him for once, people. But S tier, like, yeah, people treat him like trash. He's actually very good for early game and mid game and sometimes late game, I would say. So, yeah, William Cowboy is S tier because he's definitely better than normal Cowboy. Next one, Demo Man. C tier. Because, like, it's good for starters, but, like, when people place it, this is how I feel. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Demo Man is C tier, by far. And it's okay, like... I mean, he's basically a, a downgrade Rocketeer, because he has, a, like, a little bit of range. But he's okay. Don't ask me why these tabs are open. Okay, next one. DJ Booth. A tier. Because it gives, like, a 10% discount on level 3, which is always good. And it gives a range buff, too, which is really good for Ranger and Sniper. And, and Mortar, actually. Or Mortar, sorry. So, yeah. He's A tier. He gives a lot of good buffs. So, yeah. DJ is A tier. Shocker. He's very good for Hidden Wave. And it's good for stopping enemies in general. I'll put him B tier. He's about the same level as Crook Boss and Golden Scout. He's okay. Like, he's not the best. But he's... Pretty good for Hidden Wave by, like, stopping the Glitch Giants. And on the April Fool's update, he stopped Imposter, like, for a long time. So, yeah, B tier for Shocker. Next one, Farm. S tier. Because Farm, like, pros use it a lot. It is very good because it gives cash every wave. And, yeah, it's just really useful, in like, in general. I think it's the second best support tower in the game. So, yeah, Farm is S tier. Next one, Freezer, D tier, obviously, D tier, like, Freezer is the worst thing, like, one of the worst things in the game, it has terrible DPS at max level, or any level, and it just, it's even worse than Commando, if there's another, if there's, like, another rank, I would put him down here, there isn't, so, it's next to the Commando, that's why, I think, Freezer's trash, he used to have his ability, which actually made him good, but they removed his ability, so now he's trash. Anyways. And we have the Frostbuster, the complete opposite of Freezer. A tier. Because, like, he has decent DPS. He's pretty good for, er, like, early game and mid game. And he also stops, like, uh, enemies a lot, which is always cool. Unlike the Freezer, like... Yeah, the Frost Blaster you get from the, um, I believe the Winter Event from 2019. But I never got it, so, yeah. So it has pretty bad deep, I mean, I mean, has really good DPS, and that's why I'm putting that A tier. Gladiator S tier, no talking about it, it's just the best thing in the game. <sighs> the, like, only OGs use Gladiator, because the event is from, like, so long ago. So... Yeah, he has really good DPS. He can just... You can solo Molten with, like, three Gladiators, I think. With three Max Gladiators, too. He's just the best thing in the game. Well, actually, yeah, best thing. I, the Commander's, like, the second best, in my opinion. Alright, next one, Golden Crook Boss. I put him A tier. I actually have him. He's okay. He's pretty good for, like, Molten and, and Normal, because... On level 1, he can one-shot normals and speedies, which is cool. So, and he puts in Golden Mafia, which are, like, really good. They're much better than normal Mafia. And it puts in Golden Crooks, which are also better. And both of which, like, the Golden Mafia and Golden Crooks are always, like, faster than normal Crooks and normal Mafia. So, they just, so they basically get to the enemies faster, which is cool. So, yeah, Golden Crook boss, A tier, he's pretty good. And you might wonder why I'm putting him over the Golden Scout. It's just, Golden Scout was really just OP for early game, but that's about it. Next one, Hunter. 
This one's hard. It's either B tier or C tier. I think B tier because Hunter is good on on early game sometimes. He's decent for early game. He's he's but like his price to upgrade is insane. Like there's insanely high for like that his DPS. So I think B tier. Yeah, I think B tier or C tier. B tier, C -tier. B tier. Yeah, let's just put him B tier. Next one, medic. Medic is only good on max level because like has really good fire rate on max level and it heals the base and has that ability where it's on like it can unstun towers. But here's the thing: it can also get stunned. So most likely it will just get stunned with other towers, which you and then you can just barely you can't use the ability when it's stunned, which is pretty bad. But okay, I think medic is B tier. It's decent. It's not A tier. It's B tier. I think. Next one, Militant, B tier again, he has, he's pretty expensive, he used to have that Gorilla Noises ability, but they just nerfed him so bad, like, now barely anyone uses him, he used to, like, he got replaced with John, I'm just saying, but he is in, like, he, a lot of towers got nerfed, but he's just one of, he's one of the, he's, he got nerfed, but he's still okay. I barely see Militant, though, in any games. But he's good for the Halloween event. I'm going to say that. Because you can automatically just place him and upgrade him to level 1. So, yeah. Militant is B tier. Next one, Military Base, A tier. Or S tier, actually. Uh, that's so hard. A tier. Because Military Base is really OP for early, mid, and late game. But it's just, there's better choices, like, the golden minigunner, or just the minigunner. Like, seriously, the military base is, like, it's decent for late game. If it's max, then it's, yeah, it's, then it's decent for late game. If it's on tanks and mid game, then it's pretty good. But in early game with level 2, he's also pretty good. So, yeah, um, military base is A tier. And keep in mind, these are just my opinions. Next one, Golden Minigunner. I mean, sorry, Minigunner. I don't know. If, yeah, whatever. Minigunner. Uh, A tier. Because, mini, like, Golden... I mean, Minigunner. I keep saying Golden Minigunner. Minigunner is really good. It's definitely... It's 100% better than Militant. But, obviously, Golden Minigunner is better. But, he's still really good. Pros also use them sometimes, but, like, no, pros use them, like, almost all the time, and he has really good DPS at any level, well, it matters on what wave it is, actually, but definitely an A tier, he is not B, C, or D, but he is not an S either, he's an A tier, A tier is above average, and is pretty good. Next one, Mortar, it's... B tier because it's really OP for early game, but it's not so. It's like Golden Scout. It's like the same situation as Golden Scout because Golden Scout is also very OP for early game. Same with the Mortar because like he has really good explosions, but then he's just not useful in mid game and late game. He's only good for early game. He can clear out a few waves, so that's why I'm putting him B tier. He also has pretty good DPS at max level, but like. No, he's B tier. 100%. Next one, Paintballer. Paintballer, D tier, obviously. He's like next, like, he's lower than the freezer. Like, he can be all the way down here. Not, not here. Down here. Because he's just so bad. The, they took away his hidden detection. It's just, like, he was good with that. Because he has splash damage. And most people don't know that. And he has. He's good for, he was good for hiddens, now he can't even, like, he can't even detect them, which made him so bad, I mean, he was already bad, but now he's, like, the worst, like, never get paintballers, he's only, he's so cheap, but he's so bad, and his upgrade cost is really expensive, so yeah, he is deep to 100%, next one, Pursue, A tier, it costs a thousand, which is a decent price, but it's just, it's almost at S tier, like the minigunner. But 
not quite, just the only, one thing that's really bad with him is that he gets hidden detection at max level, which, by the way, costs 9,500 bucks. So that's why I put him at A tier. I would put him at S tier. It's just that he his hidden detection is like the most expensive thing in the world. And that's why I'm putting him at A tier. But he's still pretty good. The pursuit. Next one, Pyromancer C tier. He's good. With like, he's a pretty good support tower. But he speeds up the zombies. But the only reason he speeds up the zombies is because he does burn damage. He used to be very OP before the overhaul update, aka the hardcore update. Now he's just meh. Alright, next one, Ranger. Ranger, as tier, like, seriously, one of the best towers in the game. Like, the best deep, one of the best, he has really good DPS. He's OP when he's with the commander. And he has pretty slow fire rate, and he got really, like, nerfed in the overhaul update. But he's still very, very good, and people should use him a lot. So yeah, Ranger's S tier, no doubt about it. Next one, Rocketeer, C tier, because... Actually, yeah, C tier. The Rocketeer is actually better than the Demo Man, in my opinion. But he doesn't deserve average tier. Like, not at all. He is down here. Because they nerfed him a lot in the overhaul update. Like, he used to have really good, like, actually decent DPS. Now he has terrible DPS. And his prices are really expensive. I don't know if they changed, but they always were expensive, I think. And, yeah. So, terrible DPS. I mean, yeah, terrible DPS. And, but he has decent, he has decent range. Next one, Scout. C, C or D, C tier. Because, Scout is, is a starter tower, which I respect. But it doesn't mean he, he's good. He's about, like, he's the same thing as the Sniper, except the Sniper just costs more. So, yeah. Scout is a C tier. I'll probably put Sniper. Just I'll just add Sniper here, too. C tier. Because they're basically the same thing, except Sniper costs more. Next one, Golden Pyromancer, D tier. The reason I'm putting him, like, up under Golden Pyromancer, I mean, under normal Pyromancer, is because... The only thing it gives is range. I mean, that's good. Actually, C tier. Because it gives, like, it gives range, but the damage buff doesn't work. And it, you can actually... Someone made a solo fall chat with, like, Golden Pyromancer, which is nice. So if you get him, make the most of it. Because at least you have something, right? Alright, next thing. Shotgunner. B tier. He's pretty good for early game, and just, he has okay range, he has mad range, like, but obviously that's what's to be expected, because, like, he got, I think he got nerfed or buffed, because he used to be the enforcer, which I really liked, but then he just got, I think, nerfed, so yeah, he's a little bit worse, but he's still very good, well, not very good, he's okay, he's still okay. Next one, Slasher. B tier, or C tier, B tier, yeah, because Slasher is pretty good for, like, um, early game, but then eventually he just gets more worse as the waves go on, so that's what I'm putting at B tier. Next one, Soldier, B tier. He's also, like, he's good because he's a starter, like, he's a starter, um, tower too. But you have to buy him, obviously. But he's good for early game if you want to, like, clear out a few waves with a couple of soldiers. Then it's possible. So the soldier deserves B tier. Actually, no, C tier. C tier. I just, I just, C tier, where is it? Where is he? Or soldier. Oh, here he is. C tier, because he's definitely not as good as the Golden Scout. I actually want to move the Golden Scout up a level at A tier. I'm just saying. Next one, Swarm. S tier, he is, like, you can, like, you can, like, a Grypted made a video about a solo fallen strat with Swarmer, he's just OP for radioactives and stuff, so that's why he's S tier, he has really good DPS, I think he got buffed or nerfed, or he just stayed the same, I think he stayed the same in the hardcore update, which is good, because 
Hopefully they don't nerf him because he's really, really good. Next one, turrets A tier. Or S, uh, A tier. Because he has 126 DPS at max level. and does, But he's the most expensive talent in the game. Which just sucks. But yeah, he's still very good. You get him level 50, which is pretty easy to get. And yeah, that's why I'm putting him at A tier. So yeah. And next one, Golden Soldier, A tier. He's better than the Sol- Actually, yeah, A tier. Because the Golden Soldier, some, some people don't like him. I really like him. He has an increased burst, which is always helpful. And on max level, he is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And yeah, I think that's about it for my TDS ranking list. I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye! Make sure to like and sub.